number one aim of everything I do is just to enjoy myself. So sometimes, you know, you probably should be a bit smarter. Also, I never watch these Beals. Come on, Miller. I can jump better than that. So in the morning, you're here. Thank you for joining me as always. And that's right. Today, we are going to watch one of my wrestling matches that happened at WrestleMania weekend for IHWE Wrestling against Sam Beal. And shout out to both those people, IHWE Wrestling and Sam Beal, and also David as well, who is uh, in charge of that company. I know he's going through some health stuff at the moment, so more power to him. Positive thoughts. But yeah, this was the first time I've ever wrestled in America. So it was absolutely badass. It was absolutely cool. I wasn't able to get the exact footage that I wanted, but that just makes it more fun, right? You can watch it like you would be watching it if you looked at it through a periscope, whatever that means. It was one of those things I wanted to do ever since I started wrestling. You want to get a booking in a different country. I don't know why. And I was meant to have one against Sammy Callahan before the pandemic hit. Hopefully we can get back to that at some point. But yeah, I just thought we'd sit down, we'll go through it, I'll talk to you about what was going down, because there is actually a story here, and we'll be able to talk about that, because we brawled at the start of the match, you can't see that on the camera, but it will all work out. So this was in uh, Texas, for anyone that cares, obviously it was WrestleMania weekend, it was in Fort Worth, I had no idea where that was, there's Sam Beal, you may recognise him for Impact Wrestling, that's right, the dude is absolutely smashing it, but this was actually our second match that we had had this evening, because there were two shows, there was like an afternoon show and a sort of early evening show, and yeah, the promoter said, you know, do you want to go on first for the first one and first for the second one? Hence why I, I run and just deck him from behind because he had screwed me over in that first match. <laughs> so I was like, nah, nah, you son of a gun. I'm going to take you out. And I tell you what was really cool, man. You fly thousands of miles across the world and people recognize you from, well, they, you know, they, they know what cultures. So they're like, oh man, here I am trying to kill a man. I mean, that, I don't know why that's meant to be a good guy. Although it's okay because he did something first, you see. That's how wrestling works, escalation. But there is something massively humbling about people watching what culture videos, even though they're, they're thousands of miles away. And yes, I'm wearing the singlet, you know. I, I was going through one of those, you know, I've traveled to America. I haven't been to the gym properly. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> that's why I have backup singlets. I don't even want to do the Y gimmick anymore. The only reason it's there is because, well, yeah. I mean, for that very reason, just in case I ever need to wear it. Now, it's a shame that we can't see this because we'd kind of discussed this beforehand. He was like, oh, well, if we're going to brawl into the crowd, if anyone wants to give me a chop, let them chop me. So I'd hold them up and a kid did it. It's really funny. And some fans did it. It's really funny. And one guy, <laughs> and this is when we stopped it, just took his hand and he slapped Sam so hard. I think he, even I went, oh, I'm sorry about that one. That was really bad. I mean, I laughed out loud. It happens over in this corner. It may even be this guy. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it. But it was, I get it right. You get into the, the action and you, it must be fun to be involved, I suppose. I think I would be the same, but it was way, it was way too much. I was like, <laughs> We, we gotta we gotta dial that back so yeah we just brought around the crowd brawling is always fun because i mean you don't really have to do much of anything you do chops and you do punches and someone gets thrown into the ring apron and right i don't know why i'm walking off this is my this is me being ridiculous i have become a little bit of a ridiculous goofy wrestler that's right slam him on the back miller i can't help it like if you watch my ups and downs videos people think i'm joking this is when the kid did the slap it was the best thing ever when kids get involved it's just the best thing ever but um yeah i'm not just saying it on my ups and downs stuff i just like goofy wrestling i guess it's because when you get older and you realize that you know wrestling's important but it's not important right it's like the the, the most important of the least important things so i just i just want to have fun with it i just want to be entertained with it be that when i'm doing it or be <laughs> or be that uh, when i'm watching it on, on, on television so a lot of this stuff that we were doing <laughs> that was a little bit of an oversell i shouldn't have done that that one i do admit in terms of what i thought about these two matches too i thought they were okay i i think i could have done better i'm not gonna lie, i was pretty nervous beforehand when i walked into that locker room because I've been in a lot of locker rooms in the UK, obviously, so I know a lot of people. But you walk into that locker room and you don't know anyone. And I felt like I was eight years old back in school again, like I truly did. And you really had to kind of, well, I had to. I had to sort of, you know, not, not, not puff my shoulders out. That's how I'm trying to be intimidating. I wasn't trying to do that. But just get that confidence that like, you can do this is okay. But I was super nervous. And I think maybe I didn't give the, the best. Uh, I don't even remember this bit. I don't remember him clearing clearing people oh that's right he wanted to be thrown into the chairs that's right we did the reverse i was like i don't remember being thrown into the chairs look how pumped i am to throw someone into some chairs some sitting devices but um yeah it wasn't i can do better i think is the uh, it, it, is what i'm looking for and i don't think there's anything wrong with that i mean it's really hard to watch yourself back doing anything be it videos or wrestling or acting you know whatever it may be i know adam driver can't watch himself back at all he sneaks out of premieres and whatnot because he just can't handle it but 
it's it's you know when you do sit through it you know you like what was that you can see things that you would never have done like never have done if you had looked at it beforehand but you kind of make a choice in the moment and that's just <laughs> that's just what happens i don't remember that either quite liked how quickly i move away why i keep I don't know why I keep leaving his side. Fit Finley would not be impressed with me. I saw a really good training video, I believe it was, where Fit Finley was like, and I use this actually, I clearly forgot about it here. Fit Finley was like, always be in reaching distance of your, of your opponent because, you know, if, if I hit you and you walk over to the other side of the ring and we, you create that separation, it just doesn't work. And you're right, as soon as you start sort of... Um, Employ using that in your own matches it, it, it does it comes together quite quickly i can't even remember what we we're doing here can i move forward we probably need to jump forward because yeah oh no wait we've come down the other side there we go it's all right he's in the ring right now definitely need to move forward now right this was ages ago it was like a couple of months ago i was hoping to get this video done uh, sooner but you know what life is like especially when you break your hand so i can't remember right so this was a tease so or was it when why did i i can't remember what that was that that tied into something and i forgot what it was what a stupid baby face I am, though. Why? Oh, no. Yeah, that's right. In the first match, I he had gone to give me an elbow drop as I slid in and I moved out the way. So this time, I ducked out thinking he was going to do the elbow. And this time, he he got me. I can't remember. I remember it sounded good at the time. And I said it out loud. And I was like, that sounds ridiculous. So I don't know. I got in trouble for this one, too. Someone said, why, why did you let him beal you around? That's a conversation for a different day. Again, the... Number one aim of everything I do is just to enjoy myself. So sometimes, you know, you probably should be a bit smarter. Also, I've never watched these Beals. Come on, Miller. I can jump better than that. See, it's weird, isn't it? At the time, I probably thought, oh, well done. You, you just flew through the sky. But no, not at all. I, there is one spot I'm looking forward to seeing. I'll wait until we, wait until we get there. Kick out of one as well. Escalation. Wrestling. Pinch you first time, one. Pinch another time, one and a half. Pinch another time, two. He's wearing you down. That's right. That's right, Simon. See, this is the other thing I've been trying to do too. That was all right. This is the other thing I've been trying to do too. Like, fight back. Always show a little bit of fight. Always show a little bit of life. Because something I always... I think we've talked about this in other videos. Dying in the, in the cell is one of the worst things you can do. Because it doesn't give the fans anything to get behind. If they think you're already done. And something I did, certainly in my early career. If someone would punch me, I'd be dead. <laughs> I'd be down. It's like, well, if one punch is going to get you, how are you even surviving for the rest of this match? And actually, I should have got up quicker here, too. I mean, you could argue it's the second match of the evening, so maybe I'm fatigued. But And stuff like that. Someone taught me some really good advice. If somebody punches you, punch them right back. Because what would you do in a real fight? You would punch them right back. And that was... I slowed down in my run there because I knew what was coming. I shouldn't have done that either. See, it's these small things. It's that momentum that you that you need to get, I think, is important. And look, when I usually say stuff like this, people are very, very kind to me. They say, oh, Simon, you're being too harsh on yourself. And maybe, but again, it ties into what we were saying a minute ago. I think it's important to be a little bit harsh. I think that's how you learn. Like for now, for example, I think I should have popped up quicker. Like it was a cool spine buster he gave me. Don't know why I clicked my fingers. <laughs> it was a cool spine buster he gave me, but you know, I've been down long enough. Like get up, don't let him pick you up. But I think this is the thing, right? So this is what he did in the first one. He gives you a gut buster. I'll tell you a story about that in a minute. Then he does that. And he's going to do like, a, he did this in the first match, like a jump off my back senton. So we had decided well, we've got to come up with something different. And it was Sam's idea. Great idea. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to pull it off. He was like, why don't you grab me in a choke as I come down? So I've never seen this. It felt like I'd pull it off. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. It's kind of cool. So I, 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 you know, I like stuff like that. And yeah, going back to the, the gut buster he gave me. You may be going, Simon, you didn't jump very high for that. No, I may have hurt my rib. <laughs> no, hurts too strong. I didn't injure it. But um, in the first match, I had landed funny on my, on my front. And it just felt a little bit, what's the word I'm looking for? Tender. And unfortunately, sometimes that gets in your head. It's funny because I, was, I felt it when I went out there. Then we started going. My adrenaline kicked in. And I didn't care. But it was that one. Before I'd gone out there, that one move I'd overthought. So when it came to taking that one move, I screwed it up. Which goes to show you just got to throw yourself into stuff. I've never, ever been hurt throwing myself into stuff. It's always when you hesitate a little bit. And again, why I'm taking so long to get up here, I, I don't know. I mean, you could argue he was beating me up a little bit, but I think, you know, if I have that wave of adrenaline where I've got him in the, in the choke, there should be a bit more fire. But again, I thought we were doing this. It's the classic, you hit me and I'll hit you with the classic forearms, which is a spot that works. I think it only doesn't work if, man, we're really giving it to each other, aren't we? Good grief. I think it only doesn't work when everyone does it. But also in the, in the realms of, like, if I showed my girlfriend this, she, 
<laughs> she was like, why are you just letting each other hit each other? And she's right. But I don't remember giving this many punches. I don't remember this at all. <laughs> they were right for a while. Then they became rabbit punches. Why did I turn my back on him? What an absolute moron. I don't know. I bet whatever he does now, I better cut him off. Otherwise, yeah, cut him off, Simon. Please. Yeah, thank goodness. There we go. Boom. Line. Line. No, Simon, get him. Where are you going? I'll sting a splash. Boom. I, I remember this too. I got gassed so badly because we decided just keep doing them, doing them, doing them until you can't do them anymore. It looks like this is in fast forward. It's not. And I was gassed for about here. Like, so you can just see it's so slow. Although I've done worse. And I believe this goes into a falcon arrow. That was all right. Nah, it could be a little bit better. I like the falcon arrow. I think it's a really, really good move. I mean, it should probably be a finisher if we're going to become nerdy geek smarks about it. I hate that word, smarks. What does it even mean? Just be a fan. And now I suppose I'm gearing up for the spear I must be. So this is, no, this is, this is the good thing about not watching it back until a couple of months later. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm as invested as you are. And again, I think I need to... I don't know, I'm overselling a bit here as well. What am I going for? I'm going for, oh, I'm going for the gut wrench, that's right. And he gets out the back. He gives me a headbutt. I sell that really weirdly. What was that? Okay, well, that was miscommunication. <laughs> and that's right, he gives me the... Poof. Jeez, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, that was... Uh, do I get to the ropes here? What do I do? Oh, I kick out. I don't know how loud the sound's going to be, but... Yeah, that, I assume that was just a miscue. I'll probably leave it in. Maybe I cut out. Maybe I leave it in. But, you know, these things happen in professional wrestling. And the best professional wrestlers, I think Lance Storm said it best. I can't remember now. He was talking about when you make a mistake, what do you do? And he compared it to a car. It's like if you take the wrong road and you're not going in the right direction, do you just all of a sudden veer off and go crazy? No, you find a way to get back on course. And that's the best thing to do. So whatever I did there, I think if, if you forgot what probably would have been better is if I, you know, gave him a strike or got him in a hold or something. But you don't. You do panic a little bit. And it's just, it comes with experience and it comes with time. I can't remember what he's going for here. Oh, I reversed into a backdrop, though. So what am I going for now? Oh, the ref went down. A German. Oof, no, that was a bad German by me. I went over to my side. You always want to go straight over. Are we going for the gut wrench? Did I beat him with a gut wrench? I could have held him up more than that. Come on, Simon. I thought you should have kicked out. I was ready for a kick out. Well, that was okay. Like, it was, it was, it was, it was half decent, I suppose. Sam was very good, though. Sam, I'm talking about myself here, not Sam. Sam was an absolute pleasure. Sam was, um, yeah, I was really kind of happy that we got to, he got to be the first guy. Because it's kind of cool for me, too. I'd seen him on television uh, with Impact and stuff. Oddly, I think I'd given him ups and downs as well, you know, from the show. So to get that and tied in, I thought it was pretty cool. It's just how we got the first match, because then we could compare and contrast. You could see why... Because we did try to make it story-based. We were trying, like, well, we did this in the first one, so make sure we do this in the second one. But I had a great time. Thank you to everyone that did come out. Hopefully, we can get some more wrestling matches in there. Again, in August, I should be heading over to MPW. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on my Twitter for at Simon Miller 316 And otherwise, yeah, the more we can do, the merrier. I appreciate you, and I'll talk to you soon. But before that, like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Hit the bell, ding, ding. So that the video's going live, there will be another video on the screen. Please do give it a click. Otherwise, grillofmine.com for us Simon. These are the supplements I use. I like them. And if you use the code Simon, you can get 10% off. In great new sets, power. 13 cookbook on cameo for shout outs at simon316 on instagram and twitter patreon.com for simon316 if you want exclusive video simon.bigcartel.com for merch we zoom through that because i imagine you're bored of it but it's all in the description below goodbye <laughs>